Amen. Now I see the struggle through our pride, and I see the passion in our eyes. It's a culture that could never be replaced. No, now all of the colors in the sky keep them flying, keep them high. Is a piece of history from all creeds and races. So, oh, oh, oh. I want to go where the music lives. Oh, oh, oh. And only so I can feel like this. Oh, oh. It's like a throw on my stress away. Oh, oh. And it's there I want to stay with you. I don't need you. Right there I want to stay with you. I don't need you. Right there I want to stay with you I don't need you Right there I want to stay with you Stay with you So I'm on Like is the strongest connection Or maybe the way the music does play I will follow it in any direction I was born in the perfect place <laughs> I remember being in high school and uh, I was in my computer class and I remember seeing some of the other kids, uh, the black kids sitting at the back of the classroom and uh, they were literally cutting each other's hair. They had like barber, barber shears and the attitude was like, what are you going to try in school for? Like, wh where is that going to get you? And it struck me as so odd because my experience growing up was always like, of course you're going to go to school. Of course you're going to go to university. Um, but for my classmates, there was no world in which they could imagine that doing that kind of thing would be for them. And so um, having black content that gets to represent the diversity of our experience and the diversity of what's possible um, is so invaluable because it, it genuinely opens the world up to people who look like me to imagine a future for themselves that they might not have otherwise. Hi, my name is Letitia Osborne. I am an up-and-coming writer and director out of Brampton, Ontario. And representation is something that's very important to me. I think what the BSO is doing through the symposium is something that we really need right now. It is amazing to walk in a room and see people that look just like you, that you could relate to, and are striving to the same common goal, which is to amplify Black voices in Ontario. So I'm really grateful, and I hope that this keeps going. I hope that we have this year after year, and um, we continue to incre increase the space and make it more wide and bigger for uh, up-and-coming emerging filmmakers. Hey, my name is Ray Crossfield. I'm a filmmaker, uh, writer, director, um, CEO of Crossfield House Productions. And um, this BSO symposium means so much to me um, and everything that's happening here today because a lot of times as a Black Canadian creative, we unfortunately get to feel like there's a ceiling in Canada that we can only go so high. But that's why grants are important. That's why um, funding opportunities are important for us to be able to tell our stories that are authentic and true to us. And there's a lot of filmmakers in the room who've also like, you know, are at are, are different levels emerging or more experienced. And one thing that we can all agree on is like, we wish there was more opportunities. So having this experience, being able to come here and network and um, build with each other is so important. And also having the funding opportunities and the information and knowledge when we leave the space is even more important because it allows us to tell those authentic stories that I was speaking about. And um, just even having important people in the room uh, from different broadcasters and things like that. And, you know, who knows, maybe even Warner Brothers one day. Um, those people are very important to um, our journeys because we want to get these stories told and we want to get them made by any means necessary. Stay with you. I don't need you. Right there I want to stay with you. Stay with you.